Welcome to the Sage Pesto Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create inventory items in Sage Pesto Accounting. Firstly, open your Sage Pesto Accounting as well as your data set. And next, click on Edit Inventory Item File. The Edit Inventory Item screen will display where you will be asked to enter a code. You can enter a maximum of 15 characters and it needs to contain either numbers, letters, or numbers and letters. Please do not use any special characters like hash, exclamation, or at. Once you have entered your code, you will be asked to enter your description. Again, this can contain numbers, letters, or numbers and letters. Again, please do not use any special characters as this can cause issues when processing and reporting. Once you have entered your code and description, you can fill in your details screen. Here you will be asked to select which inventory group to link your item to, as well as the discount type to select. You can select none, early payment discount, invoice discount, or both. If you select none, that means that this item will not have any discount applied to it even if the invoice being paid is within early terms or if there was a discount provided on either the supplier or the customer discount. If you select early payment terms, this means that if you pay your supplier in the early terms given to you or if your customer pays you in the early terms that you gave them, this item will be discounted accordingly. For invoice discount, it means that discount will only be applied to this item if the invoice itself has a discount applied to it, be it supplier or customer. If you select both, it means that if this item is used in an invoice where early discount applies or where invoice discount applies, it will be discounted accordingly. Please make your selection and then you are welcome to enter a barcode, a bin number, a unit, for example, KG or each, a commodity code and a net mass. You will then need to select if you wish to allow tax on this item and to set up the tax type to use for purchases and sales. Please note that this is a default setting and you will be able to change these settings when processing. Next, you will select your process options. If you select the option for fixed description and cost, this means that when processing customer or supplier documents using this item, you will not be able to alter the description, the cost or the selling price. If however you select the option to change while invoicing, this means that you will be able to alter the description as well as the cost and the selling price when processing supplier and customer documents. You can also choose whether you wish to show the quantity and unit, and if this is a sales commission item, meaning that if you make use of salesmen, when telling up their commission, if they sold this item, commission will apply. If you do not tick this option, it means even if they sold this item to customers, no commission will be applied to the item. Next, you will need to select your type. Is this a physical item or a service item? If this is a physical item, it means that you can physically hold it and count it and you will need to bring it into stock. However, if it is a service item, this means it is not something that you can hold and count and you cannot bring services into stock as it is a service that you give. You will also see that there is an option for serial item. This will only appear if you are using Sage Pastel Partner and you have purchased the serial number tracker add-on module. If you are using Sage Pastel Express or you have not purchased the serial number tracker add-on module, this option will either not show or will be grayed out. Make your selection accordingly and click on your prices tab. Here you can set up your prices per each price list. Please note that Express only has three price lists, whereas Partner has 10. Once you have set up all of your normal prices, you can set up future prices as well as special prices. You can also give the special prices a date to apply from and until. Once your prices tab has been set up, you can click on your user fields. These are your user defined fields and these are for fields that do not display on the details or the prices where you need additional information. 
you have three text fields as well as three number fields. You may notice that there is a tab called Reorder. This tab will only appear if you are using Sage Pastel Partner. If you wish to set up this field in Sage Pastel Partner, this means that you can link this item to a preferred supplier. You can also link it to more than one supplier and select which supplier is the preferred supplier and enter your supplier's inventory code. You can then enter the minimum as well as the maximum number of stock you want on hand at any time. What this means is that if you set all of your items up on the reorder in Sage Pastel Partner, you will be able to run something called the Reorder Assistant, which will look at the stock that has fallen below minimum and will order it with the necessary suppliers for you so that you can get your stock. The Activity tab is a tab that shows you the movement of your stock in terms of purchases, adjustments and sales and allows you to check your quantity on hand as well as your average cost and your sales value. You can also add notes to your items through the note facility and this will show you the status, entry date, action date, subject and linked files. If you wish to add a picture of the item, you can do so. Please note, however, that adding pictures can cause your database to be quite large. Once you have set up all of the fields, and tabs in your item file, you can click on save. Please note that you will need to do this for each and every item.